During many centuries in various parts of the world, various diabolical rites and ceremonies have been practiced in homage to various sinister gods who are believed to have many supernatural powers. These rites are generally known as voodoo, which consists mostly of black magic and the cult of death. The practice of voodoo invokes the supreme god, Baron Samedi, who is supposed to be able to revive the dead. This rite is presided over by Dambala, a kind of supreme priest to whom the witches or followers dedicate their diabolical ceremonies. The same as the snake priestess. Unscrupulous adventurers take advantage of these superstitions to put docile native girls under their power, transforming them into zombies so they will submit to their primitive instincts. There are many existing opinions about the living death. The truth is that many strange and horrible stories are told, like the one that happened in Corbeil to Captain Pierre Labiche.
I didn't think it would be such a difficult trip. 
consider yourself fortunate that I was around to accompany you. I am sure people in these parts are unused to see a woman travel alone. In due time, Captain Labiche, women are no longer bonded to men as they were before. We know how to shift for ourselves. I don't think that premise will, will hold through around here. That remains to be seen. Well, at any rate, if you need me, you have just but to say the word. I don't think that will be necessary. And about that club you belong to? It's not a club. It's a well-founded organization that will change the world. And how do you say it's called? The International Anti-Saloon League. Oh, quite right. Well, here we are. Oh. I'll call a lieutenant. I shall attend to that myself. <laughs> I'll go along with you to the plantation later. Thank you. How long will you be staying here? Long enough to clean up the police department and reestablish law and order. Yes, sir. I am Captain Labiche, your new chief. Where is uh, Lieutenant Wilhelm? Uh, 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 well? Uh, uh, oh. Deaf and dumb, huh? Uh, Never mind. I shall announce myself. Are these men prisoners? Oh, uh, oui, uh, <laughs> prisoners. Uh, <yeah. coughs> My glass is empty. Thank you, Tony. And the pleasure is mine, Lieutenant. I'm sorry, sir. I didn't get word of your coming. That is quite obvious. I am Captain Labiche. And of course you are... Wilhelm. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, at your service, sir. Your glass is empty. That won't be necessary. I never drink alcohol. Bravo! Captain Lepiche, as a citizen of the Republic, I am shocked to find alcoholism rampant in the law enforcement agency itself. Alcoholism? Lieutenant Wilhelm, Mademoiselle Vanderberg. Mademoiselle Vanderberg is a temperance worker. What? what? Temperance, Lieutenant. The salvation of the world. Modern science has shown that alcohol is responsible for 99.2% of all the world's sins. 99.2. Oh, I see that it's taken care of. <clears throat> I want you to come with me at once to the plantation of Carl van Molder. I presume you know the man? Of course. He owns almost half the island. Mademoiselle van der Berg is his niece. She intends to stay with him while she's here. I see. Very good, but it's quite far from here. In that case, we should leave at once. Yes, sir. What's this, Wilhelm? It's a voodoo funeral, sir. Voodoo? I don't understand. What is this voodoo? Oh, it's a native superstition. They will bury their dead in a special place, which is supposed to be protected by magic. And they'll keep a vigil for three days and three nights, just to be sure. To be sure of what? 
Oh, to be sure that the bodies cannot be raised and made to walk at night, forced to work in the field. Which I gather doesn't happen too often. Not too often. What's the matter, mademoiselle? Did he frighten you? <laughs> Captain, sometimes even I get frightened by these people's eyes. In those eyes, you can guess all the cruelty of their diabolical ceremonies. Ceremonies produced by sinister witches and under the guidance of the mysterious Tambala. Legends say they even produce human sacrifices. They gladly go to their deaths with the hope that they'll be accepted into the Legion of the Zombies, winning the favor of Baron Samadhi, and this way, enjoy the privilege of the living death.
It wouldn't be strange if now they'd bury one of their victims. Welcome, Lieutenant. It's been a long time since I've seen you. Oh, you have guests, I see. How charming. Do come in. Eva Mulder, may I present you? Uncle Carl, don't you remember me? I'm Annabella. Not, not little Annabella Vandenberg. All grown up, as you could see. Well, now, how many years has it been? Oh, now, please, don't mention that. <laughs> and this is my superior from the mainland. Captain Labiche, at your service, sir. Captain, I'm honored. Please sit down, all of you. Kalea, some refreshments for our guests. This is indeed a surprise, my dear. What brings you so far from home? I've come on behalf of a great cause, to ask for your help. Well, if I can help you, of course I will. What is the cause? To make a better world. Well, of course, in a cause like that, I'm completely at your service. How will it be accomplished? By destroying the demon. Drink. Oh. This is delicious, Uncle Carl. What is it? Just a local beverage, uh, made from, uh, from bananas, I believe. And sugar. Captain Labiche, you have a fine young officer here in Lieutenant Wilhelm. And a more peaceful island than Kalbai would be very difficult to find. So what brings you here? Not peace. Herr van Mulder. The sword, then? I'm a man of the sword. It is said that he who lives by the sword... ...must have a strong arm, Herr van Mulder. What are you two talking about? Uh, they're having some jokes among themselves, mademoiselle. The humor seems rather grim. You see, mademoiselle, your uncle suspect I have come to this island to make trouble. This is not correct. Trouble is already here. And I have come to stamp it out, to bring law. Whose law, Captain? The people of Kurabai have had their own for centuries and... Pagan superstition, witchcraft, magic, ritual mutilation, human sacrifice, and other practices of a sort, which cannot be discussed in the presence of a young lady. Uh, your pardon, mademoiselle. What sort of practices? Well, the young men and the young women get together and... Will help. Yes, sir. You see, Herr van Mulder, to me, the law is a simple matter. There is right and there is wrong. And you are constantly amazed by the number of people who fail to recognize your simple formula. Herr van Mulder, you have a great influence here. I had hoped that we could be allies, you and I. Perhaps we can, Captain. Perhaps we can. Fine. Come into my laboratory. I'd like to show you something. Uncle Carl, I had 
no idea you were a scientist. All my interests are many and varied, my dear. For years, I've been making a study of the culture of the people of Kerbis. Hmm. How do you like this little fellow? Did you know that when the Egyptians were raising the pyramids, the people here on this little island were raising something much more important, though perhaps less tangible. And what would that be? A power. A vast, untapped power that has laid dormant for thousands of years, just waiting the key to unlock its secrets. Oh, I see. And where is this power to be found? In the human mind. And the key? Captain Labiche, you see that tiny mirror and the weight attached to him? Do you believe that by the mere concentration of a human will, that could be made to move? That? <laughs> Of course not. What nonsense. Of course, for you, then, it would be impossible. But I believe. Therefore... And that is your vast untapped power? One man alone did not build the pyramids. You saw the tiny movement of that mirror caused by the concentration of one human mind. Think what would be done by the concentration of thousands of minds, all stronger than mine, upon one single object. Oh, we would indeed have a new world. No more war, no pestilence, no hunger, famine, disease. Perhaps even no more death. Bah, bah, politics. I am disappointed you think me so gullible, Herr von Mulder. My life's work, a paratrix. Kalea, this gentleman would like a more impressive demonstration. Chimbabo. Benferi. Kalendi so kalendo. I must warn you that if you insist on interfering with the customs and traditions of these people, it'll be very dangerous, not only for you, but for others. In the name of humanity, I beg you to go back to the mainland at once and leave this forgotten island in peace. I am the law, Herr van Molder, and the law can forget no one.
Good day, Mademoiselle Vandenberg. I hope we meet again under more amusing circumstances. You know that Dambala does not like this kind of thing. No! No, don't do it! Please! Please! <laughs> Tambala, Tambala. Who is this Tambala? Hogwash. Oh, the religious symbol, their leader. You're not important. Witchcraft. Living death. People sacrifice in ceremonial rites. And you say he's not important? Look, Captain, this is not Paris. You do well to respect these people's customs. That was the first thing I learned when I got here. What you didn't learn, Lieutenant, is how to cope with these fanatics. Now it's up to me. Tonight we'll find the ceremonial site and surround it. Interfering with these people's religion is playing with fire. I'm used to it, monsieur. Make the necessary preparations. to handle this fever, Wilhelm. Now they know who gives the orders. I fear so, Capitan Labiche. You know, sometimes I think you know more than you let on, and I love to cooperate. Are you sure you don't know who Dambala is? I'm sure. If I knew, I wouldn't tell you. We'll see about that. Place a guard of three men here.
Tony, I think we're going to get very, very drunk tonight. No guards around. They almost devoured her. Voodoo. Zombies. Cannibal women. This woman was killed by madmen. And I intend to put a stop to it. They say they're dead. Left their tombs to join the walking dead. There were still a few cannibal women around when we found her. We saw them running off into the brush. We could even see the blood on their faces. Cannibal woman. Nothing but superstitious rot! They eat human flesh because they've been cursed by Dambala. That's enough! I'll bring these people to their wits, no matter what it takes. I shall order a general curfew in this region until the leaders of this organization can be discovered and punished. Curfew? Over the entire island? But well, that's impossible. I quite agree. I have written the government in protest. But for the present, all I can do is carry out my orders. Of course. Hmm. Well, what do you think the people will do? Well, 
I don't know. It's not the police they're afraid of. It's the zombies. Zombies? Oh, here on Calabai? But, but really? Well, they're afraid that they'll come down from the mountains. But what are these zombies? Ah, oh, it's a voodoo superstition. They're supposed to be the walking dead, raised from their graves by magic and put to work in the cane fields, like slaves. Against the day when Baron Zamdi will be invoked to lead them. Lead them to what? Who knows? Baron Zamdi is the messiah of darkness. He will bring a whole new world. At least, uh, that's what the natives say. Yeah, so they say. Well, this calls for a drink. Uh, yes, Lieutenant, thank you. I'll, I'll join you in that. Annabella, you don't mind when your uncle drinks. Why this unfair discrimination against me? Uncle Carl may be forgiven because of his age. In his case, it serves a medicinal purpose. Mademoiselle, you are a fanatic. Mm. I've never seen a zombie, but I'm starting to feel like one. This is pretty good stuff. Uncle Carl, what would it take to invoke this barren zombie? It says here, an ultimate act of horror. Tradition says that Dambala, who is the servant of Baron Samdi, must produce a human sacrifice. Then Baron Samdi will appear. Mein Herr, the new, the new Crenshaw. Oh. I have guests. Excuse me. I must speak to you, Mein Herr. Most urgent. I'm sorry, King Saw is my overseer. Apparently, there's trouble in the cane fields. I'll be back. This business with the police, the curfew. I know about that. Well, it can only lead to one thing. The workers are becoming restless. They can feel the danger in the air. Then do what you must do, Klingsor. But don't go too far. Don't touch it. It is Serta. Snake of the evil spirit. They are trying to throw a curse on you. I shall put a stop to this. As of today, we start patrolling the whole area. Arrest anyone who looks suspicious. Get your men together. Ali, Ali! Don't just stand there! Where the hell is Wilhelm? Nothing. Everyone stayed indoors. If at least we could get just one of them. What is it? The drums, Captain. The drums. You've been out here among these savages too long.
a living death. be next. Yes, sir. I'm afraid we could. Good. It will be necessary to find an informer to disclose the identity of the leaders. Do you agree? I agree, sir. There is hope for you yet, Wilhelm. Thank you, sir. Mingo, I have a task for you. And if you do just as I say, there will be a handsome reward. Leave. Offer your dreams to Dambala. Sleep. Offer your dreams to Dambala. Offer your dreams to Dambala. <laughs> Offer your dreams to Dambala.
want you close to me. Your mouth like this. Sir, can mingo, huh? Who is Dambala? Speak! Speak! This is all over the island, you, you damned idiot! They brought Mingo back last night in a basket! You don't stop violence with violence! I'm fed up with waiting! Maybe they don't know anything! They won't tell us who their leaders are, because they're afraid. Well, when they begin to be afraid of me, more afraid of me, and they shall. They shall, I assure you. Then the names will come. Hold on, Lieutenant. Have a drink. Wilhelm! Wilhelm! Maria! Scratch my back. me. Smile. Say something to me. <laughs> A 
imagine. Beautiful woman who can't talk. <laughs> Every man's dream. <laughs> ah. beautiful when you were alive, weren't you? Even now, in a strange way. Tell me, my beautiful Maria, are you really dead or are you feel dead. You! Is this the mockery you make of our lifetime of work? To defile the daughter of the god with your brutal lust? <coughs> you shouldn't have done that, Carl. Not enough that you turn the workers loose from the streets of the town, taking the lives of innocent people. The police needed to be taught a lesson. You taught them a lesson, all right. La Biche has gathered a larger force than ever before, and armed them with pistols. Now they're going to scour the island at this time of all times when... I hold you responsible for this, Klingsor. I'm going to make sure that I can trust you. Galea. No. No, don't. Please, don't! Dambala's little world is falling apart. Herr Klingscher, I'm sure we can do business. As you say, we both want something. What I want is well known. What you want is clearly visible on your face. Therefore, let us proceed with our bargain. If your information leads to the success of my mission here, I can assure you that my influence in the colonial government will be sufficient to arrange some... It is tonight. Tonight? What is tonight? The invocation of Baron Samadhi. There will be a human sacrifice. If you do exactly as I tell you, you will be able to capture the voodoo leaders in an act of murder. Isn't that enough for you, Captain? Very well. What is your plan? <laughs> uh, go on. I find all this very interesting. Yes, isn't it? I never realized Uncle Carl was such a scientist. Yes, fascinating. For instance, here he tells about the snake bite and the drug that's used for its antidote. Charming. He believes that the combination of the two slows down the metabolism. Metabolism, yes, beautiful. And, and the heartbeat so much that the person appears to be dead. 
But he isn't. Well, the sun seems to be about gone. It's getting rather dark. He isn't dead. Go on, I, I'm listening. Well, Uncle Carl thinks that this technique can be used for surgery on the heart or brain. On the heart? The heart's very important. Yes, but there's a problem here. Oh, no. The drug keeps the body alive, but the brain is destroyed by the action of the venom. So the victim becomes a sort of walking vegetable. Oh, excuse me. Well, anyway, he... You're the most beautiful woman I've ever seen. Go on. Then what? Well, he wants to find a way to avoid this effect. What effect? The effect... Mademoiselle, the fire of the sunset in your eyes is consuming my heart. Lieutenant, are you making advances toward me? I love you, Annabelle. Andrew, please. I told you. Lips that have touched alcohol shall never touch me. What do you want? Orders, Lieutenant, from Captain Labiche. Well, you can tell Captain Labiche. Sir, the police have deserted. The captain wants you to come with me to headquarters. I see. Wait a minute. Andrew, will you come back soon? Very soon, darling. Now, only death could keep me from you. Murder? <laughs> Even you, Wilhelm, cannot condone human sacrifice as part of any religious rite. Of course not. I agree that it should be prevented. Good. Then I have your loyalty. Uh, but are you sure that this man, Klingshaw, can be trusted? I trust no one, of course. And our police force has deserted us in mass. Does that surprise you? It's neither here nor there. But now we are alone, Lieutenant. Are you suggesting that we carry out this uh, raid by ourselves? Precisely. Precisely. But we have an ally that's worth 50 men. High explosives. Uh, bullets may not kill these zombies or whatever they are. <laughs> but I'm sure blowing them to bits will be most effective.
traitor. Traitor? <laughs> I didn't say anything. I was just, I was, I was just putting some things away. You squealer.
Zambala. Hurt Annabella. I have a better solution. Gambala himself will offer his blood for Shirta. Mulder, you are a charlatan, a fraud. Nothing will stop the sacrifice, Captain. Stop! You think that this miserable pig could be master of the legions of the dead? How foolish. His feeble mind is an open book to such a one as Kalea. You came to witness a sacrifice? So you shall. And you shall witness the dawn of a new age upon the earth. The age of the Baron Samdi. Baron Samdi, your army awaits. Manifest yourself before us now. We are ready for your dominion on earth. A fraud. Ah, Baron Samdi. Baron Sandy! Baron Sandy! Continue the sacrifice. I'm dying, Kalea. 
all for my blood and the blood of my niece, Annabella, to Baron Summery. <laughs> so, so that they can start a new empire on Earth. I'm dying. I'm dying. <laughs>